what you got. I got me a few pieces. I got me one with a scope on it, brother. Oh man, I could knock a nigga's nose off from 200 yards. I can hear you talking. I even got me a little pump gun. Man. I took that thing back a few times. And you glory in what Whitey made and sold you. And he ain't sell you nothing. He sell you his 357 <coughs> Magnum. <coughs> and when you hold it, don't it make you feel good? When you got that Magnum in your hand and you spin the chamber. Brr, brr, brr. <laughs> you jam it in the holster and you look in the mirror. Play Alan Ladd. Play Humphrey Boogie. You playing with yourself, boy. You playing games, man. This ain't Tom Mix. This ain't Hop Along Cassidy. This ain't Roy Rogers and Dean Gene Autry. This is the real thing, brother. That white man sell you a gun and tell you, what is your name? What is your address? Show me your identification. Oh, yes, yeah, certainly, certainly. My name is Eugene Callender. Live at 4810 King Drive. Apartment 3. They put you in the computer. And here, any trouble down at 4810 King Drive, they push the button, you come up in the computer. What does the nigga got? He bought on such and such a day this, that, and the other. This is what he got, this is what we go with. Cat come laid down with all kind of bulletproof nose guard. <laughs> this cat is such a coward, he lay back and throw gas in your house. Scared of you, scared to death of you. Brother, so this ain't about us being bravado, talking about how bad we are. No, we don't boast in our badness. We boast in the power of our God to deliver us from the hand of our enemy. And I'm telling you, brother, you got a God. How do you know? I watched Elijah Muhammad walk in the valley of the shadow of death for 44 years, and he made it through. And the most important thing is he escaped death. And you know what that's for? I'll tell you and we'll go. You ready for this? Oh, I know you're ready. Here's what it's all in the Bible for. Look, do you remember when the children of Israel were going out? Pharaoh's army was what? Behind them, the Red Sea was in front of them, and what did they see? Death. They forgot Moses. They forgot all the miracles he worked. They said, look, this captain got us in here to get us killed. And just in the final moment, when it looked like all hope was lost, a way opened up and they got on through. Read your Quran and your Bible. Allah is, if, you, if it was baseball, He's the ninth inning, you know, the third, on the third out, two outs rather, and the count is three and two, and the winning run is at the plate, and the bases are loaded, and he comes up, and your heart is in your throat. People walking out the stand saying, oh, hell is over, that nigga can't hit. There it goes. It's gone. And then the stands break out. That's the way the God works. He don't come in the first inning. 
And he don't come in the sixth inning. He comes when you have just about given out and don't see no way, no where. Then he said, I told you I'd be there. <laughs> and that's exactly what's in that Holy Quran with Noah. Noah got to the point, he said, Lord, when will your help come? We are all but overcome. And the God didn't say, I'm, 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 I'm coming right now. He said, your help is near. The man talking about, he's overcome. And the God said, your help is nigh. And just about when Noah was ready to give up, Allah delivered it. That is the way of the working of the God. Now, I repeat what I said Savior's Day. The messenger told me, Point blank. He said, Brother, if Master Farad Muhammad, whom I teach you, is God in person, cannot deliver me, that's a sign that he cannot deliver you. So you ain't got no Savior. Now I'm telling you that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad escaped death. Why? Because you and I are going to look like death has all but swallowed us up. In a few days, the tank's going to be rolling in the streets. Listen to me, brother. I'm just telling you what I know from the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. You're going to see bodies everywhere. Black bodies. White bodies. You're going to be hungry. Some of us so hungry, you're going to look at your children as though they're your next meal. And you're not going to see no way out for you and for us as a people. And your faith is going to get weak, weak, weak. But when you just about to give out, that's when Allah's help will come. And that's the reason you must know that Elijah Muhammad escaped death so that you will know that you will escape it too. But you're going to face death where your fear will come right up to your throat and you will swear that you will never see the light of day again. But Allah will get you through. That's all I can tell you, brother and sister. We all going to go through it. Not me and not you. All of us going to go through this because Whitey is sick of black people and he's about to come down on all of our people everywhere in this country. We're going to get it, brother. And when you feel as though there's no hope, Allah will show up right on time and he'll get you through. That's a promise made by God, repeated by his prophets, and the messenger of Allah is the witness that the God got power to shut the jaws of death. You can make it. Stand up. Stand up for Jesus. Stand up for the one that God put in your midst and my midst for us to stand up for. And may Allah bless you to understand. And I hope that as time goes on, I'll be able to go deeper and deeper and deeper into this subject because I only today scratched the surface. You've been so kind to stay this long. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you. All praise be to Allah.